Alright, what's up everybody? My name is Sen. Welcome back to the channel and some more Tekken 8 content. Very recently, you might be able to tell I made Red Rank. Uh, I made it to Garyu, which, let me just say right now, is not a huge accomplishment. I pretty much knew I was going to be able to reach Red Rank pretty much in the beginning slash middle of Yellow Rank. And Double, don't get me wrong, it will also wasn't the easiest thing. It's not like every match was free. There was times where I'd absolutely get beat up. But all in all, it was not that hard. The main thing I would stress if you're a low rank like me is offense. This is a very offensively driven game, especially compared to past iterations of the game. And the character in question that I got to red rank was Asuka. It was a little bit of a pride thing because I know people are just like, oh, I'll just play June. But also I played a little bit of Asuka in Tekken 7. I did not play a lot of Tekken 7, but this was a kind of foothold for me. Really, I just found a couple strings that I liked and kind of went nuts, especially with one that absolutely I would say carried me, which was back to 1-4. Uh, this is a really good one. It is a mid mid into a low and let me just say nobody blocks the low. Uh, it's a decently sized poking string so uh, honestly this was just in general a really good string. I absolutely used it and abused it. Pretty much as soon as I found the back two string I pretty much stopped using her one two string. Her one two three is safe but there's a gap there that you can kind of mash out on. But with that if the move is charged a significant amount it's actually plus. Uh, it just depends on how much they actually respect you and then one two four being minus 12 so I wouldn't really use this unless it was in combos not to say that I didn't use it but yeah other nice tools that I found were her 3-1 which was another kind of mid poke and this was a really good poking string especially the standing three uh, I really liked that move a lot I really used it a whole bunch moves I used was definitely a lot of down back four this move was really good because you know they might block the initial one and you can kind of just spam the down back four and in most cases, it'll probably hit. One I actually stumbled on later was down back three. This move is pretty good. Uh, it's minus 12 on block, but honestly, the range on it and how quick it is, really solid move. Another move I used in place of like her one, two strings was actually one, one. Uh, another safe string and also leads to a high mid, which I was a pretty big fan of. It wasn't until recently that I actually started using her one, three, which is a high poke into a low. Um, I kind of paired that with her 3-1, so if the 3-1 hit, I would go into 1-3. Alright, let's talk launchers, but I guess combo starters would be the better phrase here. Uh, Asuka has a number that I made use of, 4-2, uh, which I kind of use sparingly, even though it's like, I guess, a meme move. Like, so much so that it's on my, like, little icon right there. Excuse me, down back 2 was a pretty good one. It kind of has, like, a little bit of a back sway going on, and uh, was good for getting the party started. Uh, down forward 2 was definitely one of the biggest for sure. Uh, this was easily one of the best moves for me to make use of. It's a combo starter, but also it is a really good Rage Art Punish. It has a attack startup of 15 frames. Rage Arts are minus 15 frames, so it kind of worked out perfectly. I really only use this move after Rage Arts though. More commonly, you would see me start a combo with like Hop Kick just because there's so much travel. It's a mid. I think it low crushes or like crouch crushes i don't know what you call it yeah i used hop kick a lot in neutral uh big thanks in one of my previous videos to the commenter that told me to use parry i didn't even know asuka had a parry until well that person told me and i've definitely been making a bit more use of it so i appreciate it thank you all right enough about strings and nerdy shit let's talk about problems easily one of the biggest problems i ran into was just like everybody else king it doesn't matter that the entirety of my Tekken career, I knew that Shining Wizard was a 1 plus 2 break. I'm not breaking it anytime soon, I assure you. How the fuck do you record something? <laughs> Bitch! Like I said, the game is a lot about offense, so the more you can get people to play your game, the better. Obviously, there are a ton of moves to learn, but I would just say pay attention to the ones that you see over and over again, and if you're having trouble with them, Learn what to do. Okay, so we did get the red rank, what's next? Well, apart from Asuka, there's a whole bunch of other characters on the cast too that I wanna get my hands on. I've already played a little bit of Jin. I definitely need a little bit of a refresher because it's been some time. Nah. Yeah, who the fuck are you, bro? Nice, right, so let's go. All right. Listen, just because you can do electrics doesn't mean shit. I'm gonna be real. Little bit of this, a little bit of that. 
Started with a kiss, now we're up to bad. I'm just gonna hop kick. I haven't really fought too many victors, is the thing. He's like supposed to be in the new Noctis, right? Yeah, nice. Oh, you're so lucky. Got him. Ugh. Did you do something? Please tell me you did something. Oh, you didn't do something nice. Just let me promote, bro. It's not that big a thing. I don't know how to play this character. Come on. Oh my god, that move is so good. You can just fish for those on a whiff. God, I'm just getting counter hit. Oh, I'm just dead, I think. <laughs> oh, I'm turning into Majin Buu right now, dog. Hell yeah. Other characters I've definitely been interested in was maybe a little bit of Arena, but definitely Leroy, Horang, King, no, I'm just kidding, <laughs> Brian, and then definitely Lydia when she drops. I'm definitely looking forward to her. So yeah, we're going to work on getting a couple characters up to red rank, but apart from that, I'm also working on platinuming the game. That's a kind of side series I'm doing with the game. Uh, had a lot of fun platinuming Guilty Gear Striving, though it was incredibly hard. We pa uh, we platinum Dragon Ball Fighters back in the day, and there's a couple other games I'd like to platinum along the way as well. So that's in the works, but I guess this would be the biggest in saying that now that we have hit red rank with the character, that was one of my goals to actually enter a local for Tekken. I'm not very good at Tekken, I don't necessarily intend to be very good at Tekken. I wouldn't mind, but I just know it's going to take a lot of work. But what you can do without a lot of work is enter a local. Uh, I've already entered a local for Street Fighter. I've played an online tournament for Grand Blue, and I've also entered a local for Guilty Gear Strive. Honestly, I intend to do the same thing here. Tekken's a lot of fun. I enjoy the game and look forward to playing more of it in the future. Uh, I don't know if this would ever be something I'd compete in with EVO. I'd like to go to EVO this year, but it would probably be for Street Fighter. And funnily enough, I have not entered with my main game, Dragon Ball Fighters, as ironic as that is. But yeah, man, this game's a lot of fun. I have a great time with this game, and I hope you guys look forward to more content in the future because I look forward to playing more of this game. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.